Okay, so uh, again, we're here. Um, we're going to talk about the area model with decimal fractions and um, talk a little bit more about multiplying uh, single whole digit numbers. Uh, so if, um, I have our problem here. I'm going to do this two ways. So I want to show you both ways. Um, one's going to be the way we, we did in the previous video, and then the other one's going to be a different way that you might uh, really like. And it gives, again, it gives, it gives a good visual. And I know for me, sometimes I just need to see it visually. So here we have our problem. I'm going to set it up using my place value chart that I drew. Yours doesn't even have to look as nice as mine. Um, that was a joke. Uh, so the first thing is, is I'm going to set up um, these numbers here. Uh, the four, um, the two, and the three, uh, as we did previously, right? So I'm going to color code them this time so you can kind of see that. So here's my fours. Um, that's in the tenths place, right? So there's four of them, and then I have my, my two, which is the hundredths, and then I have my three, which is in the thousands. Uh, now each one's multiplied by four. So I'm going to get four different sets of each of these, right? So it's times four, right? So we need to create four of them for each one. So uh, I'm going to start with my, my uh, three, and then here's um, four sets of three. Here's uh, four sets of two, and then um, four sets of four. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I want to show you how it works when, remember, when we bundle things together, and when we bundle them, we um, have to uh, move them in a sense. So we'll, we'll show you that. So right here, if we count these up, we have 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 16 of these, which means that we have a 10, right? 10 plus 6. So in this case, if we take these 10... Okay, we move it over and it becomes 1, 1 because 10 tenths is a 1, right? So we bundle them together and make a 1. And the same thing's going to happen in the thousands is here's 6 and 4 more, right? Becomes 10 or 100, okay? And then we can add them all together. So this actually is going to become uh, another hundredth. And this, we'll, we'll make this a different color, is going to become a 1. And so now we can count what we haven't used because we got to look at it like these have been regrouped, right? So now all we have is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 here. Don't forget we have a 1. Here's our decimal. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, and one more because we can't forget that one. So we have 9. And then we, again, we bundled these up to make a hundredth, so we only have two here. So the answer is uh, 1.692. Okay, so 1 and 692 thousandths. That's how we would do that one. So um, again, that's a little different, but I wanted to show you the uh, borrowing aspect because that's really, uh, really important if you're going to use this model and use this way to do it. Um, so let me show you another way. Uh, let's get rid of this. We already know the answer, but I'm going to get rid of it. And uh, we're going to try it with what we call the area model. And the area model, they call it the area model because you guessed it. We're dealing with area. And when you think of area, what do you think of? I don't know about you, but I think of squares. And so that's what we're going to use. Um, so uh, notice right here, I have a three boxes. The reason, here's the reason. The reason why I have three boxes is because I have three numbers here in my multiplication place, right? So one, two, three, that's what this is demonstrating. So we can look at these as tenths, these as hundredths, these as thousands, okay? So bear with me here. And I'm gonna put this a four. Where did I get the four? Well, the four comes from that four right there. So just wanna make, make sure you know, see this four right here? That's what that four is, okay? So now let's, uh, let's get started. So how many, uh, uh, tenths do we have? We have four tenths. So I'm just going to write them four tenths. And uh, I'm going to show my next one as hundredths. And I'm going to show it as adding, right? Because that's what it is. It's adding the, the hundredths, right? So two hundredths, okay? 
And then the last one that I have is 3000s. And you guessed it again, we're going to just do that. And so we set it up on these boxes. And I didn't really make my last box big enough. But this is what we call a graphic organizer. Um, this kind of organizes it graphically. And this is really nice if you um, get stressed out when you see all these numbers or you find that you mess up a lot when you move over decimals. Um, and as we get further into multiplying, um, our brains will be better accustomed to this. But again, this is just another easy way to do it. And then what you do is you just multiply. Uh, let's do uh, what other colors do I have? You know, what? let's do this like blue. Um, so you're going to multiply these two. So they're going to multiply. Okay, and when you multiply those two, what's 4 times 4? 16. So we really have, don't forget the tenths, 16 tenths. And then we're going to multiply mm, a lot of colors. Oh, we'll use this blue. Then we're going to multiply these two, right, times that. And we get 800, right? Okay, and then the last one that we're going to multiply is, you guessed it, um, we'll do it this green color, uh, over here, and we're going to multiply, and we're going to get, oops, uh, 4 times 3, what's 4 times 3, 4 times 3 is 12, again, like this assumes, I'm assuming that you know your multiplication, so if you're having trouble with your facts, we need to work on that, that's something that we're going to have to work on together, um, but I need you to help me. So now what we have is we have our setup. So what is 16 tenths? Well, when we write 16 tenths, we can also write it as 1.6, right? And don't forget our plus, so plus. And what is 8 hundredths, right? Because this is getting to our answer. This whole block is our answer, so we need to figure out what that equals. What's 8 hundredths? Well, if you remember how to write 8 hundredths, right, this is going to be super easy. And then we get 12 thousandths. What's 12 thousandths? Well, 12 thousandths is 102 thousandths, right? And then all you do is add them together. And if we know how to add decimals, it becomes very simple. And our answer is 1.692, which is the number that we got before, 1.692. So there's a couple different ways to multiply fractions. Um, when we're doing single digit numbers, single digit being just the one number, we're going to talk more. Um, and what if there's two digits, three digits, and so on? Uh, we'll talk more about that. But hopefully this kind of gives you some um, uh, ideas and um, on how to multiply fractions um, in this way.